Hey everyone and welcome to this raw therapy tutorial. Today we're going over the local contrast tool. The local contrast tool is very similar to the clarity slider in Lightroom. So if you like that effect that you get when you increase that clarity slider, this is the tool for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've already turned the tool on. If I turn the tool off, you can see that there's a sharpening or uh, an increase in the local contrast. And what local contrast means is the contrast of the mid-tones of the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Now in order to see what the radius does, I'm going to actually turn the amount up to something very high. And then I'm going to zoom in. And what I want you to look at is right here, the edge of this mountain. You can see that the top of the mountain is very dark and then there's kind of a fall off until the mountain becomes more gray. Now if I decrease the radius, what you'll see is the fall off from that edge to the lighter gray there will actually become smaller. Whereas if I increase the radius, it'll become larger. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease the radius. And you can see that that fall off or that haloing effect has uh, also decreased. Now if I increase the radius, I have a much broader halo that goes on. And this is important because as you're increasing the amount, you may be getting a halo that happens around your edges. Depending on what you're looking for, that could be desirable, but most of the time it isn't. And so you can start to fine tune that by using the radius slider. Next, we're going to look at the darkness level. And of course, this controls the level of black added back into the photo to add contrast to your midtones. And of course, the lightness level is the level of white that's being added back in. So if I decrease this, you can actually see that a lot of the, the darkness that was here around those edges, that the, a lot of that contrast has gone away. Whereas if I increase this, that area where the, the edges have become crispy by increasing the amount has gained more black. Same thing with the lightness level. If I decrease the lightness, you see that halo around the mountains there has gone away, but if I increase it, now it's become incredibly pronounced. So of course, uh, this particular photo may not be your cup of tea. Uh, it's kind of a cool effect. This is kind of like there's light coming over the mountains, the mountains, but uh, for most photos that won't be the case. So I'm going to go ahead and reset my sliders here. And now let's actually edit the photo. Um, so let's go ahead and increase. Actually, I'm going to zoom into 100% again and just look at this edge here. I'm going to increase the amount until I start to see uh, that haloing effect going on. And then I'm going to decrease the brightness because I can see the halo right there and I'm going to decrease the darkness as well. And then if I also decrease the detail, now that halo is much less pronounced. If I come back out here to my, uh, my, crop, my full picture view and I turn that off and turn it on, you can see that the, the picture has a clarity effect that's been applied to it. And that clarity can really offer a lot to your photos. It can take what is a real photo and give it that hyper real quality that a lot of people use in their photos. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has been helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose, and I will see you next time.